It took years and years of women marching and fighting to get equality. It wasn't until a little over 100 years ago. Anna Navarro, Anna Navarro, who lives here in the free state of Florida and constantly rails against all of our freedoms uh, and just spouts complete and utter nonsense every day on The View. Uh, this, this one's a true gem uh, about how America America is just as racist as always. Enjoy. Well, there's so many parts of, of that aspect of the racism thing that bother me. It bothers me because she's not stupid. Mm -hmm. She's not ignorant. Uh, she's not racist. Mm -hmm. But she's pandering yeah. to a base. She reminds me of a human version of those wind socks that you see in front of used car dealerships. Yes. She just... <laughs> She, she will bend with to it, whichever right? way the yeah. wind blows. And she, you know, very casually said about uh, all men are created equal. That did not include uh, African Americans, did not include women. She said, we fixed it along the way. As if it was a typo that they said, you know what? Let's Let me fix, fix that. Let me cross that out and put, no. It took a civil war. 700,000 almost Americans died in that civil war. You know what the equivalent of 700,000 Americans are today? Almost 7 million Americans. That would be the equivalent today. It took years and years of women marching and fighting to get equality. It wasn't until a little over 100 years ago yeah. that the 18th Amendment was ratified. So for her to casually say- You're making the reverse point, you dingbat. The people that fought for equality the people who were writing the documents, as I always say, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, the other founders, many of them were writing the documents that were ultimately going to free the slaves. We had a women's suffrage movement that allowed ultimately women to be able to vote and everything else, and black people got the right to vote, and all of the things that led us to equality. And then we got there, but you people said that's not good enough. So let's bring a whole bunch of racism back. And now it is, it is your functioning ethos that you push on us every day. And now you judge everyone's decisions on whether they agree with you when you look at someone only as to whether they are black or brown or sometimes whether they're just a chick.